Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are taking a look at the minis for them, AMD Ryzen Powered X500 Mini PC. We will be unboxing it, checking out its features and then running some system and gaming benchmarks on it. Let's get on with the unboxing. First up, we have the Quick Start Guide, which is in multiple languages, including English, Chinese and German. Next, there is the Minis Forum X500, which we will show in more detail shortly. Under the packaging is a HDMI cable. There is a spare grill for the fan area on the case. There's a power brick and cable. We will include the correct adapter for your country. And last but not least is a visa mount and screws to attach to your display. The X500 measures around 6.06 .06 by 6.06 .06 by 2.4 inches and weighs 1.1 kilos. The front is quite plain with only the 3.5mm headphone port and power button. On the back are HDMI and DisplayPort for dual monitor support. There are two gigabit ethernet ports and there are four USB 3.1 ports. On the left side is a micro SD card slot. There are line and microphone inputs and headphone outputs. You can remove the bottom four screws to upgrade the X500. There is upgradable RAM and NVMe SSD slots. You can also install a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD to further extend the storage. A quick mention that you can use the discount code MINIS5 with any of the MINIS Forum Mini PCs on our store at drawx.co.uk. This will give you a 5% discount. The X500 features the AMD Ryzen desktop processor and not a mobile processor like other Mini PCs. It has 8 cores and 16 threads running up to 4.6 GHz. The integrated Radeon Vega graphics has 8 cores and runs up to 2000 MHz. Depending on the configuration you want, you can have 16 gigs or 32 gigs of dual channel DDR4 RAM. For storage, you have from 256 gigs to 1 terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD. We start off our benchmarks with Passmark. This pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum for their peak performance. The Minis Forum X500 scores a very impressive 6036. This score is just below the Minis Forum HX90 device and amongst the highest scoring devices we have benchmarked. Next in our benchmarks is PC Mark, which is more of a real life set of benchmarks. It tests day to day tasks such as web browsing, video conferencing, media consumption and working with large office documents. The X500 scores 6726. Again, it is a very impressive score and a little higher than the HX90. 3D Mark tests the performance of the CPU and GPU working together. This gives us a good indication of its speed for gaming, video editing and image processing for example. The Minis Forum X500 scores 1476, which is about average for a mini computer of this specification. We start off the gaming benchmarks with Forza Horizon 4 running at 1280x720 on the default ultra graphic settings. The X500 scores 49 frames per second which is good. In comparison the HX90 scored 56 frames per second. For Street Fighter 5 we are running the first match at 1920x1080 at maximum graphic settings. The Minis Forum X500 scores a decent 31.6 frames per second. We are running at 1920x1080 at the highest desktop settings in our Final Fantasy XIV benchmark test. 
the X500 finishes the benchmark with a score of 3443 with a slightly low rating. With a few graphic settings changes you can easily get this up to standard rating. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider we are running the benchmarks on the lowest, medium and highest graphic settings to see the differences in performance. The Minis Forum X500 scores 60 FPS on lowest, 36 on medium and 31 frames per second on highest. These are pretty good scores for the Mini PC's specification. Let's have a quick recap of the benchmark scores and also compare them to our recently reviewed Minis Forum HX90. Overall the scores are very good for this generation of processor. With it being a desktop processor compared to the HX90's Ryzen 9 mobile processor it still remains highly competitive. In the system benchmarks you can see that the scores are very close, even beating the HX90 in PC mark. For gaming the performance is lower but this is to be expected with the improvements in graphics processing in recent years. Overall the Minis Forum X500 remains a very competitive mini PC thanks to the high performance processor which you would normally find inside a desktop PC. It has plenty of grunt for your day to day home or office work, whether it be web browsing right through to working with large office documents or video editing. For some gaming on the side it is also very good. You can lower the graphic settings from ultra down to medium or low and enjoy games at 60 fps quite easily. This is a great mini PC which you should definitely consider. That wraps up our Minis Forum X500 review. We hope you have found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next one.